There's something that is absolutely essential in our relationship with God, and that is that we don't look at Him as a judge or as somebody that's looking for perfection. What He wants more than anything else is for you to know that He is there for you, for you. We have three persons in the Blessed Trinity, a Father, a Son, and a Spirit. The Father is the creator of all things. He is the center of everything. He lives inside of us. How do we know that? Because he lived inside of a human being, Jesus. So Jesus is God incarnate. So we say, Jesus also is in me. But then the Holy Spirit is the part of us that is flowing out of us when we have this indwelling presence. And it has, a, it has this thing called wisdom. And you know what that wisdom is? It's so amazing. It's trying to convince us of something so basic in our relationship with God. Because if we see God as a judge, and if he's looking over our shoulder and watching us, making sure we're doing the right thing, not pleased if we don't, we lose three things that are absolutely essential. You need to know when God looks at you, he wants you to know three things. You are safe. You are saved. Nothing that you've done ever can keep you from him. You're loved. And that doesn't mean that you're loved just because he created you, but you're loved exactly as you are in your messed up craziness. You're loved because he understands human nature better than we do. And he knows that most of what we have to deal with is not ours in the making. It came from the situations we found ourselves in. We're loved. And the other thing is, and this is so important, we're valued, valued. Why? God chooses not to work directly with people. He can if he wants. I mean, I'm not saying he doesn't have a connection with us. But when it comes to someone asking for something and we tell God, please send this to me, give this to me, more likely than anything else, he's going to work through somebody else. He's going to work through the gift of someone loving you. And you love that which you value. So those are the three key ingredients. When any of those are missing, you're going to end up in shame or fear or anger. And that's not the relationship God wants. And you know what? More importantly, it's not the one we want. And when it's not there, it's up to us to find it.